And welcome back to Good Neighbors. We have a couple more minutes here on the program. And uh, of course, when we left off, and even at the beginning, we've been talking about reflecting, regrouping, and redirecting. Now we're gonna continue on more with the uh, regrouping and redirecting. The regrouping, of course, is finding out what you need to do to continue to go on. What do you need to do, continue to go on? And then the redirecting, of course, and then where do you go? Now, before I left, uh, before I left, before we took a break, we were talking about uh, you. This, this is a time in whatever state you're in, whatever situation is, this is a time for you. And when it comes to interviewing, as well as when it comes to um, doing public speaking, people want to know about you, as well as what do you know about them? When you go to an interview, the company, of course, wants to hear, you know, a couple of things you know about them. You're just not walking in like, yeah, I just want a job. And I just, you know, saw they had a sign out there that said, you know, come and apply. And no, you, you want to, um, for lack of a better word right now, impress them in knowing that you're interested in them. They allowed you to come in and talk to them. So obviously they have some interest in you, but you want to show that you are interested in them as well even with public speaking you want to let this group you know you don't want to go to the individuals the engineering group and start talking about cooking per se unless you work that in with those numbers and measurements but you don't want to stay talking about the oven and how it's coming out and smelling and they're just sitting there looking like yeah and no they want to know about you what do you know and how can you bring that out unto them now when you're at these interviews when you're at these uh different places of course, make sure that you let them know that you have not just believe you're not just believing in yourself and what you know, but you have some work to back it up. I uh, recently heard about an individual who he thought just because he was in school, he showed up, which I don't think this is I can't even still imagine this being real. But it was from a teacher. Someone thought they should get a good grade because they were there sitting in the classroom. Hello. No, you need to prove yourself. Faith without works is dead. You can believe in yourself all you want. A lot of individuals do believe in people. Until you put something on it, guess what? It's not going to be proven. And then the last thing, do you really want to do this? When it comes to job interview, when it comes to uh, redirecting yourself, where do you want to go? Where do you want to be? What do you want to do? And of course, how beneficial is it, not just to yourself, but to those also around you? Take time out for yourself in whatever state, whatever you're going in, going through rather, make sure that you reflect on what has happened, regroup, do some things outside of what you've normally done to manifest some things that you would like to see happen. And then redirect yourself, redirect yourself. Put yourself now in the place that you would like to continue going. Not just allow what others think and what others have said about you to keep you in a, a, a state that have you going in another direction that is not beneficial for your life. But make sure that you and all of those three R's fear not, whether it's interviewing, whether it's public speaking. And you're probably like, I've never heard nothing like this before. Well, OK, it's something new and you probably needed to hear it now. Receive it and address it in your life. Make something manifest for yourself that others can say, you know what, I see what they're doing, I believe, and I know something great is going to happen unto them.